that as of today, so far in 2016, 653 people have been murdered by the police. And of course, compared to the general population in the U.S., that number is disproportionately black. Um, in general, I guess, like starting from the title, you know, the question is, can the police be reformed? So the re a reform being like, you know, a small incremental change that you sort of um, build on to change a greater thing. We have to understand the nature of the police in order to understand how we um, how we fight them and how we try to change them. Um, but given that, I think there definitely are reforms that we want to be demanding today, like. Um, you know, um, disarming them, defunding them, demilitarizing them. I, the main way that I like to judge events is how the discussion goes. I think that the discussion was really um, lively and really useful, and I think it shows like the reason that we wanted to have this kind of event um, was because we felt like this is a really pressing question right now. And especially yeah, I think it's a good discussion and it needs to be had. See, um, the thing is that um, people, a lot of people, are like sensitive to these very sensitive to these topics where they just want to live their life and stay out of the way of those topics but these are the conversations that need to be had I spent my teenage years in um, the Inglewood area there's it's obviously not a perfect place there's shootings um, and there's things that that we all as community need to work on so I'll be coming from school in my uniform, we have to wear uniforms. I went to John Hope College Prep, and I will be getting, you know, search for no reason. Um, just put on the car and they check my pockets. And if we can, if we can help people in terms of being able to provide, um, provide like the necessities that help all of us like live to our fullest selves, then like we wouldn't have the, there wouldn't be the conditions there for the level of, of so-called crime that there is, which is really just the, the poverty that leads people to make choices that they otherwise likely wouldn't make. It was great to be reminded that, you know, you're not alone in terms of when you're, when you're looking around at the world and um, you're seeing just, you know, unarmed black person after unarmed black person killed, 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 uh, to remember that, uh, that, you know, coming together and collectively figuring out um, how we can, how we can do better and get this society going in a better direction. That's, that's the best chance we've got.